Our universe has some peculiar properties. Properties that couldn't be explained by conventional Big Bang theory. For example, it's flat, it's flat, it's flat, flat, flat. How can this possibly be? A uh, Foucault pendulum is a pendulum with a specially designed pivot, designed so that it can swing back and forth in any direction around the vertical. So that's in contrast to, for example, a grandfather clock, where the pendulum has to swing in a particular plane. Let's imagine that you have a Foucault pendulum and you're at the North Pole of the Earth. When you set the pendulum swinging, you determine a plane in which the pendulum is swinging. And that plane is fixed. So as the Earth rotates, the Earth rotates underneath the plane. The Earth rotates underneath the plane, underneath the plane. Uh, well, Professor, basically this proves uh, shit, you know, this proves nothing. Um, hello, everybody. I hope you're all doing good. I... Um, was talking to a friend uh, the other day about the possibility of uh, the flat earth and uh, the earth being stationary and uh, he sent me a link uh, of the Foucault uh, pendulum experiment. Um, Foucault was a French physicist who lived and uh, did the experiment I think in 1850 uh, to show me to prove that earth was actually spinning because of the movement of the pendulum. But um, as I was, um, as I'm researching this myself, I also became aware of the Michelson-Morley experiments and uh, especially the Michelson-Gale experiment. Uh, I want you all, if you are interested into this topic uh, and if you want to do re serious research and don't leave bullshit comments or just say we're crazy, uh, look into this experiment because this is very important in my eyes because what this states is that indeed there is an ether and uh, if this is true then all the theory of theories of Einstein uh, collapse they can all uh, start uh, well all the physicists like uh, Kaku Kiku and uh, yeah, Hawkinson they can uh, search new jobs but um, a German physicist named Gaber showed that a rotating universe would drag a pendulum bob around just as if the universe did not rotate while the Earth did, you know. So the the move the, the spiraling movement of the ether, which uh, in the Michelson Gill experiment was proved moves around Earth every 24 hours, could also cause this pendulum to move like this. So to only use this experiment to say that Earth is rotating is not really scientific in a way. So you have to look at our other experiments that are being ignored just like Einstein ignored the theory of Gale just to um, yeah he, he just ignored it and he made he made his own relativity theory and um, if there is an ether then this whole theory you know falls apart so um, the ether which moves in spirals and the Earth being held in position by electromagnetic forces, where gravity is also a, a form of magnetism or maybe a, an electromagnetic force, like uh, pulling and pushing. And um, another thing to look at from an uh, artistic or filmmaking point of view, and I live in a city so I can't see the clear night sky, but there is enough time lapse uh, available so look for yourself and you will notice that the stars on the outside they leave much longer streaks which m which mean that they move much faster than the stars on the inside so this is also not possible if the earth was moving and uh, another point is uh, in filmmaking we call this like parallaxing and I like it the parallaxing effect this gives a nice camera movement this is when uh, larger objects in the back or general objects in the back move slower than objects in the front. So if you do a left-right movement with the camera, you can see this very clearly. Like, for exa example, something in the front will move faster than something in the back. <coughs> we do not see parallaxing in space. So, this is uh, indeed um, mind-boggling and uh, I will delve deeper into it. But the Foucault pendulum experiment does not prove that the Earth uh, is spinning. Uh, in contrary, it, it just uh, 
throws up more questions. But it proves that the ether or something is moving at uh, 24 hours. So yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. Much love and awareness to you all.